Hey everybody, this is Kara. So I had a project idea to take a wooden jigsaw puzzle that I found at the Dollar Tree and decoupage an image on top of it. I'm opening up the package here, as you see. It's a really cute little puzzle, 12 pieces, very simple, but it's all wood. And I wanted to see if the image that was on there would be easy to remove so that I could replace it with a decoupage image of my own. Taking the pieces apart here, trying to see just how stuck on this image is to this particular puzzle. And as I learned, regrettably, it was not easy to come off. It was on there very, very well. So I ended up having to take each piece to my sander and remove the paper that method. And so here you see it with the image gone and that is now going to be done to all 12 pieces. Then you have the completed empty puzzle ready for decoupage. This is the image that I chose, the cowboy with the American flag, and he will replace the kitty image. I did tape the back of the puzzle pieces so they'll stick together. And I use the saran wrap iron-on method to apply to the puzzles. Okay, it's under there. We'll see what we get. I'm not too sure about this. Especially with these puzzle pieces, where they have those awkward shapes and all those little curves and bumps. Not sure how well my iron is going to seal those. We'll see. Okay, well, I had to make two or three passes, but it does seem secure to the puzzle. I can see, you know, like the shape. I've got this little tool. I'm going to try and cut out each individual piece easier than trying to sand it. So we'll see. It's um, very, very hot from the iron. So I'm going to let that cool off a minute, sand the edges, and then we'll work on tracing each piece of the puzzle to see if I can get a good cutout on that. Fingers crossed. Okay, so here's where I'm at. It's quite a challenge to find the defined edges of your pieces and cleanly cut these out. That was a problem. As you can see, I've got a little bit of tearing along some of the corners where I wouldn't was kind of hitting the mark. Um, I also had a problem with my saran wrap and ironing method did not adhere in all of the places, which I could and have been gluing little places that have come up. But, y'all, that's a lot of trouble with this many pieces. Um, yeah. So, I did get one, two, three, four pieces out and using a nail file was really handy to get around all the edges and get all the fuzzies off and I could go in and touch up with paint like right here where it's torn but okay so I'm not letting this puzzle get the better of me I'm going to glue I finally got the remaining pieces apart I'm going to use my Pentart decoupage varnished and glue and touch up where these, you know, have come loose from my iron on method. Now that I have them separated, I'm going to glue those back and then I will file around the edges and see what we have then. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm on the last of the glue downs 
I'm going to let this dry and then come back with an emery board or some sandpaper, clean up my edges, and then see what we have. I have a piece of sandpaper around a wood block that I use for a lot of little small items. So I'm just going around each of the pieces, cleaning up, pull down on your image so that you don't rip it. And it cleans up all the fuzzies like so. For the hard to reach areas, I have a little emery board here. Kind of gets in that groove and does a nice job. And as you can see, I have some where it's torn. I'll either age that, might just work with it, or might do a little touch up on paint on some of the corners. Certainly will on the edge of its boot that I lost. Okay, I've touched up a little bit around the horse where it tore the boot. I think it looks better. It just goes to show you you can have little mess ups and they can be fixed. Especially with decoupage paper. You can paint over it. You can do all kinds of stuff to make it look the style you want. Like I'm doing there. It's all better. All better. Right there on the edge. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I think I'm finished. Here's the last touch-ups. What do you think? Needs a little work, but... I think it'll pass. Kind of a fun idea, huh? Okay. Happy crafting, you guys.